Hello, and welcome to another video explanation of ignorant design. Um, this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you, well, what you're looking at already. Uh, yet another way to make a 5 LED sequential flashing circuit thingy. Um, the components involved with this one are the Arduino, obviously, 5 LEDs, again, sort of obvious, a single resistor, just like the other ones, and a 4017 chip, which is a decade counter. Um, the functionality of this, the, the, the end product of this is exactly the same as the other ways I've showed you so far. Um, it just goes about executing it in a different way. So I'll see if I can explain this. With the decade, this particular decade counter, it has 10 outputs. And the way it triggers those outputs is by utilizing two of the other pins on the chip. There is pin 13, which is enable, and there's pin 14, which is clock. I know, high tech, right? What you do to get these triggering the outputs of the chip is you have them at different values, opposite values actually. You have for well I'll just show you. With this you can also start it the other way, but you have clock high, enable low. That'll give you your first blink in this application. When you want it to progress to the next LED, all you do flip those. Clock low, enable high. Next LED, clock high, enable low. And so on and so forth. And you get the itsy bitsy spider. Anyway. The way I'm doing this is I'm just using two outputs from the Arduino. In this case I'm just using pin 9 and 10. And that's just going to the clock and enable pin on the on the decade counter and it'll flip. So all I all I have running this is six lines of code. That's it. Um, even so it's kind of silly to do it this way though with this decade counter when I only have five LEDs. It's kind of a unneeded middleman. But it was just kind of kind of fun to do. And it actually has a lot of great applications. I mean, there's, there's people that use these for uh, making clocks, uh, electronic clocks, and things like that. Any, any, any time you want a whole lot of triggered responses. Um, like I said, this decade counter, you can guess by the name, it has ten uh, triggered pins. And I'm only using five of them. The way I'm doing that is instead of having the sixth LED, which would um, be, I can't remember which pin, but one of the pins on the, on the decade counter, instead of going to a sixth LED, I'm having that pin, oh, it's pin one, I can see right here, there we go, um, I'm having pin one jump over to the reset pin, which is pin 15 on the decade counter, so it'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then instead of six, reset back to one. It's just that easy. And if I wanted to have six LEDs, I would hook up the six LED to pin one on the uh, decade counter, and I would jump um, whatever pin is output seven to reset, and so on and so forth. Or if I wanted to have 10 things being triggered, I would just let it run its course and automatically flops back over to 1. Um, and that's really all there is to it. It's, it's really simple and kind of fun to do. You can mess around with a lot of things. You can have it trigger relays, uh, whatever you want. So there you have it. Another way to do the exact same thing. <laughs> 